Honestly, she's gorgeous. She's beautiful. Come on, brownies. Peace, y'all. Health Coach Healer V here, Certified Health Coach. We're in the kitchen. We're gonna get into some healthy, delicious, protein-packed brownies. Made with zucchini, though. Yes, I said zucchini, and you gotta hear me out because these brownies are popping, okay? Popping. And they're healthy. I mean, really, what more could you ask for? It's a dessert, and it don't have to hurt. All right, so let's dive into these ingredients. The first thing that you definitely wanna make sure you have is a brownie pan, okay, a nice glass pan. It doesn't have to be glass, but the way I like mine baked, glass, okay? And this is a eight by 11. You can get any size you want, this is just what I got, all right? Now, you wanna make sure you have some oats, okay? Some oats, we're gonna grind this up and make a flour. You also wanna make sure you have cocoa powder. This is organic cocoa powder. Hey, don't panic, it's organic, as Larry June would say, as well as our zucchini is organic as well. You really want this zucchini, this is the key, okay? The master key to our recipe, okay? <laughs> so we also have some peanut butter for this recipe. This is organic peanut butter. This is gonna add that protein and also add a layer of health benefit to this recipe because it is a dessert. Okay, but dessert don't always have to hurt, okay? Um, so we have a little bit of plant milk. I prefer the, the coconut, okay, the coconut milk. And we have a tad bit of coconut oil, okay? Just a very tad bit, because we want this to be a mostly oil-free recipe. And then you have your basics, your baking powder, your salt, your um, uh, baking soda. And then we have a little vanilla here. And then you wanna make sure you have a good big bowl, okay? Just one, that's what I love about this recipe, one bowl and less dishes, okay? Make sure you have a good little spatula to make sure you're mixing things up nice. And um, that's pretty much it besides your sugar component. We're gonna get into that later. Um, different people like to sweeten their things differently depending on their health lifestyle. So let's get into it. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is definitely preheat your oven, okay? We're gonna preheat it to 350. So we do have our blender here. We're gonna go ahead and add us some oats. Oat flour can get a little expensive in the store, so I love making my own and it's super easy. You can always grab regular flour, but I appreciate the benefits of the oat flour. All right, so you want about a 1 fourth cup, okay, of that oat flour. We're just gonna add that to our bowl here. Then we're gonna go ahead and do about a half a cup of cocoa powder. We're doing all these dry ingredients. We're gonna add a, about a three-fourth cup of sugar, but I'm adding a one-fourth cup because I'm gonna sweeten it another way as well, okay? So now, you wanna go ahead and add about a one-fourth teaspoon of baking soda. Make sure you're baking soda fresh, too. Keep it fresh. So we're gonna add that. All right, and now we're gonna do one teaspoon of our baking powder. Okay, so one teaspoon of baking powder. Level that off really nice. Boom, baking powder. Give that a good whisk. And you also wanna do a one fourth teaspoon of salt as well. Just make sure everything is nice and well incorporated. Ooh, our oven's done preheating. Yeah, get everybody acquainted, okay? And boom, now we can get into the rest. Okay, so now we have our zucchini. No need to peel it, okay? Now you can just use a regular uh, cheese grater. However, I don't know where mine's at, I don't have one. So um, this is the perfect way to show you if you don't have one, you don't really need one. So all you're gonna do, I just like to cut off both ends of my zucchini, and then I just put it in more manageable pieces. So about an inch thick, okay? And then you're just gonna make some slices here. Just slice straight down. You want it kind of thin, be careful with it. And then you have these slices, okay? These nice slices. And what you're gonna do is you can stack them on top of each other. And then you're just gonna come down. You're just gonna come down here and make these thin, thin slices straight down, okay? Straight down. And you can take that and then just chop it up some more, okay? You can do it as fine as you want to, especially if you have kids, you wanna put it in a food processor, they'll never know, they'll never know. So you see we have these beautiful thin slices and then we're gonna take these and make them even smaller. 
So just chop you up enough for about a one and one fourth cup, okay? So one cup and one fourth, okay? You're just gonna add in your zucchini straight to the bowl. Now we're bringing in that protein with a half a cup of that peanut butter. Now if it's natural organic, it should just kind of run out just like that. If you can see, it's beautiful. It's not thick because it's really just peanuts. Literally peanut butter, organic peanut butter should be just peanuts and that's it. We're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla in here. Love that natural vanilla. Then we're gonna add about a one fourth cup of your plant milk, okay? I chose the coconut. I love coconut milk. We're just gonna go ahead and mix this together. Now it is gonna start off being a little bit thick, okay? So don't be afraid of that thickness. So as it mixes, or as you mix it and it starts coming together, you can add about a one fourth cup of milk at a time, okay? Until you get a good consistency. So just keep adding until you get a good consistency. You can also add applesauce if you like. And applesauce will thicken it up and keep it moist as well. So keep going until you have a beautiful consistency. You want it to be a little thick, okay? Because it's brownies. You want it to be a little thick, but here you go. We have a nice, beautiful brownie consistency. Now, if you can, you want to toss your nuts and a little bit of flour so they don't sink to the bottom of your brownies. And then just go ahead and add that to your batter. And then mix that all together. Okay, get it nice and mixed together. Nice and easy, super easy recipe. Now, for all my people who didn't use the regular sugar, okay, I used the actual pure natural cane sugar. But if you don't wanna use that type of sugar, I have a maple and honey mixture right here. Um, I'm not gonna say I'm more natural sugar, um, but a different form of sugar. Some people prefer to use honey over the, the crystallized sugar or maple syrup, and I have a mixture of both. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that, about a tablespoon, depending on the sweetness that you like, okay? And mix that all together. All right, so this is where your coconut oil comes in. We're just gonna grease our pan, okay? With just a little bit of coconut oil. Now, if you're feeling bougie like me, you know, you can use a little tool like this, but it really doesn't matter. You just wanna make sure you get into the cracks and crevices. Well, hopefully not cracks, but the crevices of your pan, okay? Make sure it doesn't stick. Now we're gonna add our beautiful brownie mixture into our pan. Now, I like to follow up with some crushed nuts. I'm using pecans, okay, I'm from the South. You can use walnuts if you would like, okay? I like a pecan myself. All right, so we have our beautiful pan of brownies. She's just ready to go in the oven. So, into the oven she goes. And 20 minutes later, we are gonna have a brownie. Wait and see. All right, y'all, she is done. Let's get her out of there. Yes, we love it. A beautiful batch of brownies. Come on now. Look where you're cutting and slicing. You want to let it cool a little bit. But hey, I love a, I love a warm brownie too, okay? So no judgment here. It looks delicious, decadent, sweet. I mean, honestly, it's just time to dive in. Mm. <laughs> Somebody give me some ice cream. <laughs> and a glass of milk. Get you some milk, get you some ice cream, whatever you like, but I know for sure that it made me dance. Get you some. I know I am. Oh yeah, and don't forget to share. Grandma, you want some brownies and coffee?